Welcome back this week, uh, Screencast 11-9, Area of Composite Figures. We've been doing Area of Parallelograms, Trapezoids, and Triangles, and then we did Area of Circles, and now Composite Figures are going to be putting those two figures together. So we may have a shape that has uh, two different shapes in it, hence the name Composite. For example, let's take a look at a shape um, that looks something like this. And this is in the book, so I went ahead and just took it out of there. And then let's take one of these. And Let's move it right there. Okay. So I've got a parallelogram and a triangle. And so here's the information it gives me. It gives me this top distance is 17 feet. It extends out this way. Okay, extends out this way. Nope, I don't want it to go that far. I don't like that drawing. There we go. Extends out that way. And then goes down. Then it extends across and then goes up. Okay, so it tells me that this is nine feet. So that's gonna be the height of my parallelogram. And then this distance here is eight feet. So that's gonna be the base of my triangle. And now I need the height of my triangle, and it's also going to give me that. Awesome. So let's figure them out as shape number one and shape number two. Number one is a parallelogram, and so my area is equal to my base times my height. So in this case, my base is going to be 17. So area equals 17 times my height, which is going to be 9. And so that gives me 153 square feet. Remember, area is always square feet. And so now let's take a look at the triangle. Area of a triangle is the base times the height, and then we're going to divide that by 2. So our base is going to be 8. Our height is going to be 10. We'll divide that by 2. So that's going to be 80 divided by 2. So that gives me a total of 40 square feet on that triangle. And so now that I know the square footage of the parallelogram and the square footage of the triangle, I simply add them together. Getting my total answer of 100, whoop, 193 square feet. So being able to take the shape apart, make it into separate shapes, find them individually, and then add them all together. Okay, so let's do another example. Okay, how about this little ice cream cone looking thing here? Um, we've got 
a semicircle, which is half of a circle, and then we've got a triangle. And so we can figure out the area of those two shapes. Um, I'm going to make the semicircle shape number one and the triangle shape number two. All right, so shape number one. The area is going to be pi r squared for the whole circle. And since we're only using half of it because it's a semicircle, I'm going to add to that formula and divide it by 2. So that's going to give me area equals 3.14 times. Now, 6 foot is a diameter, so that means that our radius is 3. So I'm going to take 3 and square it, and then take all of that and divide it by 2. So that's going to give me 3.14 times 9, calculate that real quick, that gives me 28.26, then I'm going to divide that by 2 because it's a semicircle, and that's going to give me 14.13 square feet. Probably going to round this to the nearest tenth at the end, so we don't want to round it just yet. So now let's find the area of the triangle. That's going to be base times height divided by 2. So that's going to give me 6 times 16 divided by 2. Let me get that real quick. Going to be 96 divided by 2, which is going to be 48 square feet. Okay, so now I need a total. I have 14.13 square feet and I have 48 square feet. Go ahead and put 0 .00 there to line those up. So that gives me 62.13 square feet. I'm going to round this to the nearest tenth. So that's going to give me 62.1 square feet. Okay, so that's my composite figure. Actually, this was example number 1A out of the book. They used millimeters. I used feet. So the, the conversion is a little bit different, but it's the same number, 62.1 square feet. All right, so a little over eight minutes, and uh, we're all done with that one. We'll see you in class tomorrow.